Hello, I'm going to show you how to make a big fountain of fire. Alright, it's really cool. You got this a really simple, like, maximum of like $4 you're going to spend on this. One thing you're going to need is you're going to need a pack of six sparklers. I'm just using some random brand, it doesn't really matter what you use. You're going to need a small thing in the shape of a soda cap thing. And it's important you can you cannot use the plastic ones because I did that before and it melted the plastic. Do not do that. You're gonna need a, a tray, just a little pe paper plate to catch all the stuff that's gonna go around. You're gonna need a few matches. I just got a whole box here, and you need a knife. Now, that's all you're really gonna need because you're going to end up scraping off all the powder on these into this, and you're gonna light it. And then you're going to have a big giant fire thing. Alright, so first off, open up your box of sparklers. And hopefully, if you're right, it should be something like this. It's not very much on each, and that's just what you want. You don't want too much. Okay. So, what you have to do first is now you bend the plate in half because all the scraps you'll be able to move them into the little aluminum foil thing. See, when you get the scrap, you just fold it, put it in. No biggie. Okay, so you just take your sparkler, take a knife, and all you gotta do, just scrape it. There's all sorts of different ways, I don't even need that there. And it's fine to bend the metal, because that's going to happen. And you're just going to start getting bigger pieces and some powder. Alright. So we're just going to continue this for all of these six sticks. This should take you not very long. You're just breaking it up. And what you really want to do is just get some powder. This probably will take about three minutes. Probably around three minutes. It's about how long it took me. You're just going to scrape off all this. And you're going to get a nice little powder going on there. Okay. Now that you have all this powder here, because you're all done now, you're just going to fold it in half. Just move that closer. And as you will see, it's all kind of solid pieces, and this will burn, but not quite as spectacular. So this all needs to be turned to a fine powder. Well, not really that fine. So you just bend it in half, pour all the pieces into your little aluminum foil, or tin, whatever you prefer to use, thing. Now what you want to do is take your knife blade, so I'm using this one here I have, and all you got to do is this. And probably want to do it over the plate. <laughs> and when you do this, it's going to take quite a while. This is the long part. This is going to take a maximum of like... I did this for 10 minutes because I wanted to be spectacular. The longer you do it, the better. And you want to do it until you get a really nice powdery type thing. You don't want these solid pieces. Because these solid pieces, when you do that, it's not going to get as much oxygen to it. So it won't burn as good. Alright. And when you do this, pieces of it are going to fly around the plate, so you know it's going to fold it up again and put it back in. And you do not need to have, the, you don't need to go crazy about this. You do not need to make the whole thing be powder. You can go ahead and have some chunks, and I had a few chunks. But you don't need to do this for very long. And you do not have to do it very hard. I'm not putting very much pressure on this at all. It's really easy to break up this stuff. See, if you push too hard, you might break through the aluminum. I've never done that, but if you push too hard, you might do that. And that would be a little bad. Alright, now right here, I've got myself my fine powder. Actually, it's more fine than I was going to go for. It's all very small, except the middle has a little tiny bit of hard. Uh, that's good enough. I just done about 10 minutes. And I think this is perfect. Alright, now we're just going to take it outside. And we're going to use our matches. Now, it's very important you do not use, you know, traditional lighters. You can use these. It blows out gas. If you put it on this, you'll be blowing out some of the powder. 
Now, it's not going to affect it so much, but you might as well be careful. Alright, so let's, let's go. Okay, so now you got to take your matches. And you might have to use a few, but I don't, not normally. And try to be careful so you don't burn your hand. Alright, now just to sum it up, we have this thing, which I've had sitting here for about 40 seconds. It is still pretty hot. So burnt, burnt remains of some of the powder. Alright, not very much to see. And then just to play with a little tiny burn mark. 